Hi, it's me again with Corel Drill Tips and Tricks, and I'm just playing around and I'm just thinking if you ever wanted to use a font and make it for a cape, talk, cape topper and cut out and you didn't really like the font you're looking at, you can always grab your font tool and just click there and just back up and change the, that one letter. Then you can look at each letter individually and pick out some letters if you don't like that H. I'm just gonna do this for the video and then you could pick that H and then you could just back up and pick another E. And I'm, I'm not saying that you would ever use these, but to make it look like that and you could hopefully you could do a better job than I can, I'm gonna go up to object and convert it into curve and then I'm gonna actually, you probably don't have to, but I'm gonna control K and break every. See, I, I did the steps backwards. I should have broken them apart with control K and then selected them all and convert them to a curve. That way you don't get that I. But they're curves now and you can take the smear tool. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's make it 0 0.75. Let's make it point nine and you can take this and smear this a little bit and you can actually smear this a little bit you have to click on it till you get your bounding box and don't worry about it matching up perfectly at first because uh, you can always fix that later the smear tool is pretty powerful it can do a lot of stuff and then you can take this and smear it to your e and if you start over sometimes you'll get a different smear but that's good enough for the video and then I would just take, if you have X7 or above, you could take your smoothing tool and click on this. And actually what you'd want to do now is go ahead and select all this and weld it. Now that is all one piece. So you can use your smoothing tool to, to smooth out the transition between the two letters. Same thing with this one. Let's zoom in a little bit. Get your smoothing tool. Now, if you do not have your smoothing tool, you can do this. So if you don't have X7 or above, uh, one thing I would suggest you upgrading because it's a really powerful, cool tool. But you can do things like this with your shape tool. You know, you can change your, uh, just by grabbing a node and changing the handles and making it whatever you want to do, deleting nodes. And that looks pretty cool. It's a little bit thin right in there, but that would, help you make a cake topper. Of course, you'd have to have this part. Uh, and you can do this without this, the smear tool. You can do it with your shape tool. Um, you can just, and I grabbed the wrong, one of the nodes from the other side. Just make sure you get all the nodes on that one and just bring it up. And then of course you would want to bring that, well, that would all stay together but you'd want to go back and weld it again. And just by looking at it in hairline, you can go like this and go up to object, break curve apart, and then select it all and weld it. And then you can always smart fill in whatever you want. I lost that part of the E again, because I did that same thing. But anyway, you get the idea. So instead of welding that, there's two ways you could do it. Set your nudge sector on like two inches. Nudge that out of the way. Well, that's not gonna matter. Yes, it is. Let's nudge that out of the way a couple of times. Grab it all and weld it. And then bring this back a couple of times. And then use your smart fill tool to fill that in. Pretty good way to transition letters together. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.